Cervicogenic headaches. Your health and well being is important to all of us. Today, your health care provider has requested that you watch this brief video. Does your headache seem to never go away? Have you had difficulty maintaining your quality of work because of your headaches? Do you have to make frequent changes to your personal life because of your headaches? Are headaches becoming a more frequent occurrence in your life? Over the next few minutes, you'll learn about a specific type of headache called a cervicogenic headache, how it occurs, and what you can do to prevent pain and achieve a healthy spine. Headaches are one of the most common health complaints people experience. Although headaches can range from irritating to incapacitating, most are not associated with a serious illness. There are several different types of headaches, and they are given different names based on the cause of the headache. A cervicogenic headache can be difficult to recognize because it can mimic tension-type migraine and cluster headaches. Generally, cervicogenic headache pain occurs unilaterally or only on one side of the head. Pressure on the neck and certain postures may increase the pain, and that pain may travel from the head down to the neck and the shoulder. Since cervicogenic headaches mimic other headache types, a diagnosis based on examination of the neck and the cervical spine is necessary. First, the type of headache you are experiencing will be determined. Diagnosis will be based on several key factors. Medical history. Physical exam, which includes palpation or examination by touch of the neck. Diagnostic tests, which may include laboratory work. Diagnostic imaging, such as x-rays, an MRI, etc., if clinically necessary, and other information you provide to the doctor. Your doctor's expertise in treating headache symptoms and causes makes him or her an excellent guide in the search for long-term relief from your headache pain. Treatment of cervicogenic headaches may include spinal adjustments to improve alignment and function, Physiotherapy modalities, such as the application of electric muscle stimulation, massage, or recommendations to improve your posture while at a computer or other repetitive tasks, diet and nutrition, exercise and sleeping habits. Relaxation and stress-reducing techniques may also be prescribed. When researchers at the Duke University Evidence-Based Practice Center in Durham, North Carolina, conducted a literature review of several headache treatment options, they concluded that chiropractic spinal adjustments resulted in almost immediate improvement of cervicogenic headaches. Misalignments in your cervical spine, whether caused by injury, poor posture, stress, or physical activity, can lead to cervicogenic headaches. As a rule, when your muscles tighten in response to the stress of cervical spine misalignment, a headache develops. If you suffer from frequent headaches, try to improve poor postures and to make changes in daily habits which you recognize as causing problems. If you've developed headaches following an accident, see your chiropractic health care provider to rule out any serious injury and to correct any spinal alignment problems. Above all else, to avoid recurrent cervicogenic headaches, follow your health care provider's instructions for healing and prevention. Your health care team has a star player, you. With you leading the way towards a better state of health, it's important to keep all appointments, follow your treatment plan for longer-lasting results, exercise as instructed, eat properly, and follow stretching and ergonomic recommendations. Working together as a team, you and your healthcare professionals can decrease the likelihood of future problems and prevent degeneration from advancing, decrease relapses or flare ups, and stop the development of chronic pain syndromes. A better quality of life is the wellness goal to better health. With proper headache care and prevention, you're on the right path to achieving that goal. If you have additional questions about the information presented, please ask your health care provider for assistance.